If you've been using ChatGPT or any of these AI tools for any amount of time, you've probably seen that there is a lot of negative that can come from using these tools like Google Slaps or Google knowing that AI written your content. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to bypass that every single time. Hey, what's up Empire Builders? Before we get into today's video, I wanna tell you guys about an exciting advertising and chat GPT class we have coming up on March 2nd and 3rd. You can click down below in the description of this video to grab one of your tickets. Our last chat GPT class absolutely sold out and we had such absolutely amazing feedback from this class that we're gonna be hosting another one, but specifically only talking about advertising and AI. So not just chat GPT, plus all the other tools that we actually use to create advertising for our own eight figure company and are using these kind of tools to make real money in our online businesses. So if you're somebody that wants to learn more about this and you want to be on this live intensive for two days with our eight figure team, make sure to click the link down below. Without further ado, let's get back into today's video. Now, those of you tuning into the e-commerce empire builders for the first time, I want to give you a huge welcome every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we release new content just like this. So if you want to stay up to date, make sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button and that notification bell as well. Also one lucky commenter down below on today's video is going to win $50 directly to their PayPal account. So if you want to be entered into win, drop a comment and make sure to hit the notification bell so you can tune into the next video to see if you won that free cash. But guys, today we're talking about a common problem with ChatGPT and all of these AI tools that write blog posts and stuff for you with uh, Google being able to scrape and see that, uh, hey, this was written by AI, right? And penalizing you or using it on your social media posts and, you know, the, the, the platforms being able to know that this was 100% written by AI and giving you less organic reach. So this is a very, very common issue. Today's video is going to be solving that. So first and foremost, let's head over to ChatGPT. For the sake of this video, I just sort of told it to write me a 500 word uh, blog post explaining how to tie a fly fishing rod and it just spits out this massive text so the two tools there's a few tools i'm going to share with you in today's video to give you guys um you know a bunch of options there's going to be free options there's paid options that you can choose from and see whatever works for you so what we're going to do is i'm just going to copy uh you know the first couple paragraphs here right now what we're going to do is we're going to take this text and you can take all of it for the sake of this video guys i'm just you know just taking some of the text um is you're going to want to use a tool that's going to be able to to detect if it is AI written. So this is a really nice one. It's called writer.com. And then you'll be able to see it if you need the exact address. It's writer.com slash AI dash content dash detector. Um, and right here, very simply, you can paste this in and then click analyze. Okay. So right from here, it's saying 3% human, human generated uh, content, right? Now, if you want to use this tool for longer posts, you will need to sign up for a paid tool. Uh, there are other tools like this one right here. Uh, it's called uh, uh, Giant Language Model Test Room. A uh, little bit more advanced. It's based on GPT-2, but for, from what I've seen, you can use it to analyze uh, uh, text as well. So for example, if we paste that in here and the, the, the address is gltr.io, gltr.io will get you there and you can click analyze and it'll basically tell you uh, what's AI, what it thinks is AI, what it's not. And the, from what I understand, guys, how this is working is it's doing predictability. Like, you know, would the next word be something that somebody said? Um, honestly, you can go really down the rabbit hole on this tool. What I like to do is just click this track P1 and green is AI and white is uh, human generated. Um, and so you want to see kind of like more white than just all green right here. Okay. Um, again, you can get pretty advanced with all of this. That's not what I do uh, by any means, but you can really go down the rabbit hole, but that's from, from what I use this tool for. That's what I like. So a lot of green right here basically means all this was written in AI, some white spaces in here, but definitely all AI written. And this is a free tool, which is nice as well. And again, it is based on a GPT-2 version, um, so there are going to be some limitations there. But for our use cases of building e-commerce businesses, building online businesses, it's it's plenty good. Okay, um, and again writer.com can detect that. So what do we want to do here? Well, what we want to do is number one, you can tell, right? You can 
tell uh, uh, ChatGPT to actually rewrite in certain text. So we could tell it right here um, to rewrite, you know, X, this paragraph um, differently. And that'll help your score. That'll actually help your score because now it's giving you something that isn't, you know, readily available to everyone. And you can have it rewrite that and then have it rewrite that and keep doing that over and over and over again. Okay. Or you can use different tools. So the two are called uh, paraphrasing tool.com. And then the other one is called quillbot.com. It's, I believe it's owned by paraphrasing tool. This is the paid version. So you could paste in like a piece of text in here. It's not going to let me probably do all of these. I have to sign into the account, but let's see if, it, if we uh, can just do uh, a couple words right here. So we'll click paraphrase for that in the free tool. And then it spits, it's, it's going to work on, uh, it's going to work on that. So now right here, it's given us this rephrase and now we can take this, right? We can go back to our writer and then we're going to delete this and see what our score gets. Now we'll click analyze test. Boom. Just like that. 87% human generated problem solved. All right. Um, do I have a, 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 a magic number here that I can tell you about? Uh, no, uh, I don't know. I, I don't have that exact number, but I can tell you anything above like 80%. You're pretty much gonna, gonna be good. If you are on a budget and you don't want to pay for like a quill bot again, you can put in short uh, bursts of text in here. Um, but here's something else that you can do. Um, and this is kind of like the, uh, the bootstrapped entrepreneur's way of doing it is going to paraphrasing dash tool and click basic paraphrase. It'll spit that out. Now we're going to take this. I'll go back here and see what kind of score we get. It'll probably be a lot less. I showed you guys probably the best we're going to get is 87%. Boom, 56%. That's actually really good from the first uh, first, uh, first go to uh, to rephrase that. But what we can do here is take this again, take this paraphrase text that it did with the free tool, paste it in the actual input right here, and then click basic paraphrase. Now what it's going to do is give me some more text right here. Now let's see if we can get better than 56% uh, right here, which I would hope we will. 58. So you see, it's kind of a numbers game. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If it did, make sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button, that notification bell. Also, don't forget, drop your comment down below for your chance to win $50 directly to your PayPal account. Guys, as always, have a fantastic rest of your day. And remember, your empire starts now.